All right, welcome. Hope everyone's having a great day today. And uh, there were several comments about um, if you haven't seen Big and Rich's video of 8th of November, or Missing Out, stuff like that, and some of the other you know songs I've been doing. Honestly, I've heard the name. I have no idea who it is. I assume it's country because all the recommendations for Big and Rich are in the country section. Um, like I said, I have no idea what this video is about. However, I just had to click, yes, I'm over 18, 15 times to get into this video. So <laughs> let's check out what this is. By the way, barely over 18, barely. Hello, I'm Chris Christofferson. On November 8, 1965, the 173rd Airborne Brigade on Operation Hump, War Zone D in Vietnam, were ambushed by over 1200 BC. 48 American soldiers lost their lives. Oof. Severely wounded and risking his own life, Lawrence Joel, a medic, was the first living black man since the Spanish-American War to receive the United States Medal of Honor for saving so many lives in the midst of battle that day. Our friend Niles Harris, retired 25 years United States Army, the guy who gave Big Kenny his top hat, was one of the wounded who lived. This song is his story. Wow. Caught in the action of kill. I'm gonna have to go watch his Medal of Honor story. Uh, I've seen other Medal of Honor stories on this channel. I absolutely love to see it. Heroes, man, you just never know. And uh, the Vietnam stuff, I hate when I'm in uniform and a Vietnam veteran with a hat on or a Korean veteran comes up to me and thanks me for my service. I hate that because seeing what these guys went through is crazy, crazy. This song is his story. Caught in the action of kill or be killed. Greater love hath no man than to lay down his life for his brother. That's really cool. They made a song about his story. And uh, I've said this before previously, but that's the reason I started listening to the country music. There's so many patriotic songs and songs like this, and I love it. The order is a tall one and swallows it down with his tears on the eighth of November.
through a clear blue sky. 1965. On the 8th of November, the angels were crying as they carried his brothers away. Man, this is a, it's a powerful story. The fire raining down and the hell all around. There were few men left standing that day. On the 8th of November, the angels were crying as they carried his brother away. With the fire raining down and the hell all around, there were few men left standing that day. Saw the eagle fly. Eighth of November. Eighth of November. Eighth of November. Said goodbye to his mama as he left South Dakota to fight for the red, white, and blue. He was 19 and green. With a new M16, just doing what he had to do. Wow. Uh, now I know why it was 18 plus to try to watch the video. Um, some graphic stuff in there, but I'm definitely going to check out, you know, that story and i um, really thankful for that recommendation. I love watching stuff like that. I love how people in country music have music like this. I mean, I might be new to country music, but uh, I'm not new to being patriotic and, and respecting people that came before me and all the crazy stuff that they had to go through. So really cool video. Um, Glad I watched that and I appreciate that. So if you like this video, hit the like button. If you're new to the channel, consider subscribing. Leave me some more recommendations and uh, thanks again. We'll see you in the next video.